Hey guys, how's it going? Matt here. Welcome back to another brand new video here on the channel. And welcome back to yet again another match reaction. We're at a through to the second round of the Carabao Cup after knocking off Huddersfield 3-2 last night at the John Smith Stadium. I think this is exactly what we needed after the weekend's game against Millwall. Some changes in the starting eleven that really, really proved worthy. It's definitely a step in the right direction. I hope this is, you know, the platform that can take us and set us off now. Yeah, in the video, we're going to be taking a look at the game, the talking points, the goals. As usual, talking about where we go from here. A little preview of Saturday's game against Coventry as well. So, if you're new around here and you feel like it, or if you're a Borough fan and you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Please don't forget to like the video as well. It helps us out so, so much and helps the channel reach new audiences. If you could help us out, guys, and do that, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. With all that said and done, let's get into the game. As far as the game itself went, I think especially after we lost 1-0 to Millwall last weekend, we definitely needed a good performance here in the Cup to lift our spirits a little bit. Carrick made five changes to the start at 11. Let's go through it now like we did in the last video. Here it is on the screen. I'll read it out to you now. A Glover in goal, McNair, Vandenberg, Lenahan and Coulson in defence. Nice to see Martin Piero start along with Dan Barlassa and Hayden Hackney in midfield. A front three this time of Isaiah Jones, Rogers and Sammy Silvera. I just want to say as well guys, a little mention for Dan Barlassa in midfield. As you can see on the little graphic we just showed, he was voted man of the match and I voted him man of the match as well for last night. I know he got a lot of stick after last weekend's game, so it's nice to see him get a man of the match in this one. It'd be interesting to see where he goes from here. Congratulations, Dan. The first few minutes, I must say, were quite scary. We went behind after the fourth minute. It looked like we sort of tried to play it out from the back. Very sloppy defending and Huddersfield capitalised and opened within the first five minutes. And with that, I think each and every one of the 2,000 plus Borough fans that travelled down were thinking... Here we go again. I want to say as well, fair play to all our fans who made the journey last night. I was going to go myself, I didn't get there in the end. Seeing everyone on Twitter, on Facebook, praising our attendance from last night. Fair play, Borough fans, once again. We do have the best fans in the country. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Can't wait to see the turnout for Coventry on Saturday as well. Then there was a quick red card, a straight red card for Huddersfield. And I think after that, we were well and truly up and running. We got the equaliser back. Sammy Silvera, about seven minutes after the red card. Getting us level. Nice to see Isaiah Jones back on the score sheet as well to put us in front. As I said, we just took control of the game after that red card. It was really all us for the rest of the game. We brought Riley McGree on. He got on the score sheet as well. Riley McGree, I really like him. The way he exploited the gaps in the home defence and managed to slot the ball home. Huddersfield did get a consolation back deep into injury time, but it wasn't enough. We held our own. We didn't take the tighter penalties and we're in the hat for the next round. It'd be interesting to see who we get in the next round, actually. The Premier League teams who are not involved in European competition have been introduced. Things like Everton are in there. I've had a look as well. Wrexham are in there. If we get Wrexham away, that'll be a quality away day. I will most definitely be going. The draw at time of recording is tonight around half ten. I'll let you know who we get afterwards in the next video. And I'm going to try and make it at that game, actually. So it better be a decent away day. A few other things as well that I just wanted to mention. Last night's win marked our first win in the EFL slash Carabao Cup in three years, which is mad. You seem to have a habit of going out in the first round, so it's good to finally make it past and get into the seconds. We've had some really memorable cup days in the past. Man United springs to mind from a few seasons ago. Even the games about seven years ago against Man United and Everton in the EFL Cup, those spring to mind. I do enjoy a good cup run. As I said, it'd be interesting to see who we get drawn against in the next round. I'll let you know in the next video who it is and how I feel about it. We move on to Saturday back in league action against Coventry at the CBS Arena. Yes, Coventry again. We can't get enough of them. It's going to be a tough game as well, I think. I think we're going to take a lot of fans down there. Wouldn't be surprised if people know the way down there without a sat-nav at this point. It should be a pretty decent game on Saturday. I know I'm looking forward to it. Should be another decent turn up by the Borough fans as well. We never fail to disappoint in that department. I'll be here about a day or two after the match, as usual, with the match reaction video. But again, make sure you subscribe down below. Turn on that notification to make sure that you don't miss when that's uploaded. As I said before, it'd be lovely to have you on board. 
I really enjoy making these videos and talking about the borough. So if you could help us out and give this video a like and subscribe, it'd be greatly appreciated. All that's left for me to say now is thank you very much indeed for watching. I really do appreciate all the support. Over the next couple of days, I'm going to be trying to work on some new video ideas. So it's just not constant match reaction after match reaction. I've had some little ideas of things that I'd like to do. I'm waiting to see if they come to fruition. Stick around because there could be some good content coming to the channel soon. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Take care. I hope you have a great night if you're watching this when it comes out. A great day, night, week, whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.